Ciao and welcome to this edition of Il Bolatino, what's cooking in Chicagoland's Italian American community. What a week, what a week, what a week. And think about it, who really knew what was going to happen with the Columbus Day Parade or if it would happen at all? Well, the Columbus Day Parade did happen, and it was fabulous. The day began with every weatherman in the city putting the fear of God in us about a bad weather day. But actually, it turned out to be a perfect day for the parade, with heavy storms arriving just minutes after the last float crossed the finish line. We started the day at Our Lady of Pompeii Shrine with a wonderful Mass celebrated by our spiritual leader, Father Richard Fragabani. Then, a march to the War Veterans Monument led by magical herald trumpeters ensued with the entire church compliment following. Elmwood Park Mayor Skip Saviano emceed the event and a wreath was laid by the Order Sons and Daughters of Italy to recognize and remember our Italian-American war heroes. It was really inspirational. Then, it was off to State Street. Floats, marchers, bands, and decorated vehicles, Isabella Bucaro, our queen in her court, they were all there. The family of Jasper B. Sanfilippo, who chaired the parade this year, were ecstatic about the event the entire day, and we could not be luckier for their friendship and their support. The parade went off without a hitch, being broadcast on ABC7 and going down State Street Live all the way to Van Buren from Wacker Drive. The Buckinghams, Danny Serafin, the original drummer from the band Chicago, and PBS superstar Pasquale Esposito joined Jack D'Amico, Vito Zotto, Tony Ocean, Daniela Crocco, Jack Muccio, John Anthony, Nick Saihajis, and the Piano Man Band, and Johnny Maggio were musical performers in the parade. Frankie Valley of the Four Seasons, Joe Montagna, and Il Volo all sent video well wishes to us also. And after the parade, we all headed off to Casa Italia in Stone Park for the official after-event celebration. It was packed. And then we had a celebrity stop by, a very special celebrity. He, went, he was there to say hi. It was the actual Arrigo Park Columbus statue. That's right. As a gesture of good faith, the Chicago Park District allowed us to view the statue. But when I saw it, I was very upset at the vandalism and just how it was laying on the floor in some warehouse. So they allowed me to take the statue, top secret, in an effort to restore it. It will take a lot for that to happen, so temporarily we had the spray paint covered with a light coat of something called Graffiti Buster. It made it seem a little lighter color than the original color, but it was the statue. I put everything on it. But that stuff is removable, so we'll, we'll be able to fix the statue a little bit later to its original patina and luster. I had the statue mounted on a flatbed with the intention of entering it into the parade. I mean, how cool would that have been? But you know, in the interest of public safety at the last moment, we decided not to do that. Instead, we took it over to Stone Park, unveiled him at Casa Italia, and I gotta tell you, it was epic. We were all so emotional, I know I was. But the next day, I returned it back to the park district to, to fulfill my part of the deal. But I am excited at the progress we've made so far. The statues will come back, I can assure you that. Italian American Heritage and Culture Month continues this week. National Pasta Day is Sunday the 17th, then it's followed by Keeping It Real with Frankie D's podcast. The Justinian Society of Italian American Lawyers celebrates its 100th birthday this week. Master Pizza Maker Leo Spitzeri gives tips on the perfect pizza, and it's Italian American Day at the Races at Hawthorne Racetrack next Saturday. Go to jccia.com for the complete schedule of ways you too can celebrate Italian Heritage Month. So much to do, so many things to see, so many opportunities to show your pride in your Italian heritage. And that's what's cooking in Chicagoland's Italian American community. Check us out around the world every Sunday at 10 a.m. on Domenica Insieme with host Pat Capriati. So until next week, stay proud, stay positive, and share this Il Bolatino with all your friends. We need to be strong and continue to unify. So proudly fly your flag all month long. See you next week. Ciao, ciao.